today we're looking at camera bags I'm going to be talking about photography camera bags and everything you need to get started from a point and shoot all the way up to multiple camera bodies okay so the first bag I'm going to show you is a tripod bag this bag normally comes with tripods I have done a separate review on this tripod uh, on the channel so you can check that out but for bag purposes if you need to carry the tripod on its own it's a great option this bag holds this tripod in which is a newer tripod it goes fairly high but the bag itself has compartments and handles so you can see there's a nice strap for your back there's handles here you can carry like that so if you've got a point and shoot camera or you use your mobile phone you can always have the little mobile phone stand on the tripod and that is one bag you can carry easily okay so this bag is a small low pro bag this one is the nova 140 aw now i'm showing you this bag alongside the tripod bag there because that would be a perfect combination if you're taking a tripod and doing a small shoot and you've got a, a mirrorless camera or something that you can uh, carry so like your mobile phone even maybe if you've got an additional mobile phone this bag is quite handy so you'll see it opens up and then right now i have my 550d with a 50 millimeter lens in it that gives you an idea of what this bag can carry and you can see there there's additional options for memory card storage and a little pack on the front for extra batteries i have a slot here where in theory you could slide in another uh, lens so that's a little camera bag that would be handy and it, it distributes the weight quite well with this little system there and also on the back of here you have got loops so if you wanted to attach that onto a belt you could actually have it right on your side it's a good weight it's a good make it's got a waterproof little section here whereby you can take out and if it does actually downpour in the rain you can just cover the whole bag up and that is a full waterproof option for the bag if i show you that just like that it still allows use of the strap which is good just like that so that kind of gives your stuff waterproof so that's two bags that we've looked at so far and they're small options Okay, so this one is my favorite bag and I've been using this the longest the types of shoots I do I normally have this bag because I can carry a, a body and have additional lenses so you can see it's a nice compact size it's got a top handle and the strap has some additional padding so this pad comes separately to the camera uh, in the bag and that gives you that extra shoulder support so if you're carrying a big body and lenses you can see it there it fits nicely it's not too big and it's not too small if I show you this now and the setup I've got in it so here it's a nice nylon webbing type strap and with the addition of this which is also a Billingham shoulder strap it lightens the load just on its own that thin but I would definitely recommend getting this if you have got uh, a Billingham bag and this is a proper official Billingham one so if I open that there you'll see the bag opens up nicely and it allows you entry so in this I have a 70 to 200 lens and I also have a Canon body with a lens attached which is a 70 to 2, uh, 24 to 70 so this gives you a nice option to shoot and use and have a mess in your bag there is one slot empty here if I wanted to I could put another lens in there like a hundred millimeter macro lens so that would be perfect for like a two lens and one body setup and it allows easy access to uh, the lenses and the bodies as well as that there are front flaps where you could put extra stuff in so batteries and business cards or anything like that sort so that is a good option for that and that's where I've got any at the moment okay so now I'm going to show you what you can carry in the Billingham bag this is the Hadley Pro and I normally pack it like this so there's the memory cards in the top I have my 5d mark II with a 24 to 70 lens I have a flash with batteries in and then I carry the 70 to 200 in the side and then in the front pocket some extra batteries for the flash and some triggers for the flash 
So that is what you can get inside a Billingham Hadley Pro. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna do a comparison of two backpacks. This one is a Low Pro Fast Pack AW, the first version. I use that a lot because of the setup I use, but this one is a new one that I'm testing out. It looks more trendy. However, it's very lightweight. It allows you to use two bodies in there. And the camera bag itself has straps with additional padding on the back of it. So you can see there, that is the padding for the, the shoulder blades. And you've got this extra section behind your waist. So that would make sure the weight is distributed equally. And because it's a bigger bag, it's actually got, in theory, you can carry two camera bodies one at the bottom one at the top and you can there's little dividers that you can use there to make sure you've got enough lens space so as a full pack that one is really good but i haven't tested it for long enough this one is the low pro i've tested that for maybe 10 years now so i've been using this for long enough to be able to tell you that this has withstand withstood the test of time it's a different layout to the SD bag because it has, let me open a zip, two distinct sections. So the lower section here allows you to put a camera, two lenses and some flashes here. But then that's like a, a self-contained area for the camera. Above it is a different section altogether. So this one has a divider in and you can put days things in there. Maybe you can put a jacket in there you can actually carry additional body in there, which is what I normally do. Um, apart from that, it allows you a dedicated laptop storage section on the side, which goes in the back. And again, in the back of this, it does have straps with padding and a full padded back area. And I've had this on a long uh, journey in London when we were walking about like a big NEC uh, museum and uh, NEC show for the motorcycle. And I had a 70 to 200 lens in there, which is a big lens with a 5D Mark II. And I had some snacks and stuff on the top and it per performed perfectly well. So this is my most used camera bag. And this one is the Low Pro Fast Pack AW version one. There's a version two in this, which comes with a facelifted model and it looks slightly different from how it this one looks but well, this is a great bag because it has a laptop section in the back i really like the padding also as well as the hip type support where you can put an extra strap around your waist and it's a low pro it's got an extra case on the front and it's got a little loop there where you can put sunglasses so that is the back here is the front now this one has two sections the top section it's like a storage day section. You can see that you can fit quite a lot of stuff in there. I normally carry an additional body up here. Um, as well as that, the main bit of this bag is the side entry. That is just a lens wipe. So here you can actually open up and you can see you can fit a full body in there. Lens, lens, two flashes and it's well distributed on your back. So that is a great option. I'm used to do that properly because that looks a bit messy how it is that's just a then you can well, on this side so you can do that do that and pull the body out so it's a good addition for this camera bag it's a low pro and this is the one I've had the longest it's probably the first bag I bought and since then I bought the Billingham bag and I have an additional bag which I'll compare to this because it's a backpack so this is that bag Okay, so now I have the low pro camera bag here. First things first, everything that fitted in the SD bag, which is that bag there, fits in this one section of this bag, minus one of the lens caps. Uh, lens, oh, what well, I'm calling a cap? Shade, oh, I need to check that out. Hood, yeah, lens hood, that's what I said. Okay, um, so now I've opened this. This is my low pro which I've had the longest and you can see straight away those are the triggers which fit right here. So the triggers are there, the batteries are here, I've got an extra lens. The good thing about this bag is it's deeper, but it's a good thing but it sticks out more from your body 
because it's obviously thicker so the lens fits in that way I've got my 100 millimeter lens here but without the hood on normally with the hood it's it might still fit but it'd be too much pressure in front of the lens is the memory card holder one flash two flash and then the body there which leaves the whole upper section free so you'll see that bit there but then we have the whole upper section here which is entirely free so it depends how tightly you want to pack stuff but I've packed this tightly enough and the weight's lower to your uh, back so it kind of holds nicely but that was a look at what fits in the low pro fast pack version one bag So here I have another backpack made by SD. This is a fairly new bag. I'm just testing it out to see how it performs. It's got good form on the straps. It's got a waist section with a nice bright orange little clip. You can clip on like that. There's an extra little hoops here for sunglasses you can hang on, or even if you have a little pouch. I normally have my memory cards, which I can stick on that. It's got a little carabiner. And the back of it is actually quite handy because it has document storage section like a safe section it's got this little bit here where you can put it on the back of luggages and then the side has a little stretchy bag where you can actually put a drinks bottle there's additional straps if you have extra accessories you can clip on the bag is very lightweight but it's got a good seal on it for the zip and the second side has a tripod so you would have seen that little section with the tripod of this camera. Make sure to check out the chapters because there will be breakdowns of all the cameras I'm checking out, the camera bags I'm checking out today. So if I open this up quickly, just to give you an idea, it opens up as a full section and it's like a bit of a suitcase. So right now I've got a little body in there just to test it out, but it's slid all the way down. So it should have been like that there that is just the accessories i've got some of these things out i will show you this fully packed up and show you how it looks with all the accessories in and what you can get in it but it's a good option because you can take out all the inner sections and use it as a day bag so like have luggage in there if you're using for a weekend there's additional zip pockets up here but i have been impressed with this because it's got a little slot up here where you can put a laptop in or a tablet and um, there is also a little section on the front here as well Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you what you can carry in this EDC bag and this EDC bag is a dual camera bag so depending on the setup you can carry a number of things in there so what you will see is I have flashes two flashes right now and those two flashes there I've got extra batteries for the flashes I've got an extra lens 100 millimeter Canon macro lens um, extra memory cards in a case I can fit a lot more in this but this is what I find comfortable carrying this lens is a 24 to 70 you'll notice I've put it in sideways because if I put it in like that it sticks out a bit too high so you have to be careful with your lens measurements and make sure they're not too tall for this case so that's another lens that's two lenses then I've got a 5d mark 2 with the 24 to 70 body uh, lens uh, 70 to 200 that was a 24 to 70 I use these extra straps to make sure the lens is kept in place I also have a lens additional triggers so putting all of that back in again you'll see lens triggers put one battery there a couple of batteries here there are more of these dividers where you can divide sections up even more flashes and there And that just goes in there. You close it and zip it up. And there you can see how that looks. Okay, so now we are talking big boy bags. Not technically a bag because it's a case, but if you have expensive gear and you need. Uh, a seat because technically 
strong enough for you to be able to sit on the bag if you're going to be doing a fashion show for example so it acts like a seat and it's got dual purposes so what i'll do is i'll show you the bag here so alongside the normal carry bags this one will allow additional storage there's sections in here you'll see with the close-up when i put the gear into it but it distributes the weight equally and it's got different padding sections in the camera bag uh, you've got the top upper section which you can separately buy so that's a different add-on but it does allow you to separate all the the gear you've got so you can see there i've got the cables split out separately it's a, a pelican 15 10 case i'll show you uh, a close-up of this with all the gear in it so you can see what it can actually be uh, put in there so this one is a bigger case however it will withstand more well necessities you could probably throw that about i haven't tested it yet but i've seen loads of videos online where they actually throw it out of uh, military vehicles and stuff but the best thing about this is it's got its own little rolling system so that is an overview of that bag okay so now i'm going to show you what you can fit in a pelican case 1510 you'll see straight away in the upper section all the batteries have come here these are extra things but in the main section down here you can see the camera body with the lens 5d uh, 550d with a 70 to 200 we've got the 5d mark ii with a 24 to 70 we've got two flashes we've got 100 millimeter macro we've got 50 millimeter got triggers and memory card holder so all of that fits in the case obviously it's a bigger case and it's more protective so that is your review and look at that